Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen and another Sunday Funday video. Uh, today we're testing some more kitchen gadgets. This is kitchen gadget review number 10, I think. So if you missed any of the others, uh, please check out the playlist at the end of this video. It goes on for a long, long time. And also keep any suggestions for kitchen gadgets coming in. I've got that huge box still. We're working it through. More keep arriving, uh, but I'm loving it. It's great and I'm finding it really fascinating. Some of them I absolutely love. Some of them are a bit quirky, but as always, uh, do remember some of them can help people with disabilities to accomplish things in the kitchen easier. So, we need to do a reminder of Naomi from the last video. Yes! Oh wow, okay, that has um, kind of worked. Yes, that was a clip from the last kitchen gadget testing video and I did use Naomi wrong, although the instructions on the box didn't say that. I saw an image afterwards where you sort of release Naomi and she smashes. Check out our behind the scenes channel. All right, you can lift it right back. Wow! <gasps> What's your fingers? Yeah, but look, then you do it. it. And then it cracks the, uh, oh, oh wow. we kind of did it. <laughs> oh, I'm worried that I'm going to smack my finger or something. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, so you're supposed to actually like fling it like that and let it go. Oh. Yeah, so that's, um, how you do well, it. Yes, and I was planning on showing that in this video, but I forgot my nuts. Uh, and I also put it in the video description box, which none of you read, unless I put giveaway in huge letters. So I did actually say, uh, this is how you do it, check out the vlog. So that's how you do it. You just lift it up and go cha-ching. Anyhow, on with today's gadgets. What is better than a tea infuser than da -da 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 -da, a pug tea infuser, right? He's not that excited about it. I hate tea, but Mrs. Barry likes tea, don't you? No. You, like, you do like tea, don't you? No, I hate it. Brilliant. <laughs> Great. So folks, this is a pug in a mug silicon tea infuser. Look how happy that pug is to be dunking his butt in a mug of hot water, infusing tea, creating uh, tea leaves. Uh, so I don't like tea. Uh, Mrs. Barry doesn't like tea, but we love coffee. Uh, so if it was a way of doing this with coffee, we've got some uh, English breakfast uh, tea leaves, loose tea leaves. Other brands are available, of course. We're gonna try and make this work. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is amazing. I just want that anyway. You know what that reminds me of? No. A Dalek. It does. Exterminate. <laughs> I will. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, he just like hooks on there like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cute. I want my own Boston one of these, or Amy, or both of them together holding hands and you can have double the tea power. Right, okay. Um, pull the pug apart. Oh, that sounds horrible. And fill his belly with loose tea. Okay. Be gentle with him. Yeah, this feels really weird. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice, okay. So we're just gonna fill that up. I've never used loose tea before, I'm quite excited. No, neither have I. Kettle's just about to boil. I'm loving uh, this slightly suspicious herb right there. My mum loves tea, so I think she'll be a, a willing volunteer for this. So we're gonna just, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> fill his belly with the tea leaves. I'm just gonna go for that, just go crazy. You no, it says to fill his belly up. Okay. Well, actually, no, but actually on the packaging here, it says one teaspoon, so maybe that's enough. Pop him back together, ensuring he is properly closed. How do we know it's a boy? It could be a lady. This is quite, you know, this is turning into like a sexist silicon tea infuser. But it does look quite butch though, doesn't it? Look that, at that sticking out while you've just got your what, finger what, 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 Oh my gosh. How do you know if it's a boy? <laughs> it's his tail. It's his pug tail. It is his tail, Pug yes. tails are not that sharp, are they? No. no. But neither is his. Oh God, not anymore. <laughs> We've got him snipped anyway. Um, where is this video going? Right, okay, so <laughs> this is pretty cool. We gotta shove the pug on the mug like so. All right. The instructions on both the infuser and the loose tea say to uh, add water uh, for two to three minutes. So I'm just, uh, look at this. It hasn't even reached the pug yet. This isn't quite, go on. Come on, I'm gonna have to go right to the top with it. But what if you want to add milk? I don't know. Well, well the plug is actually taking up some volume, isn't it? So when you pull it out, oh uh, yeah, it should up a little bit. So well, do we just leave it now? Yeah, look. If, yeah. You can see that better than I can, can't you? Looks like oh, it's weird. It's brewing. It's weird. Is it weird? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. <laughs> 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 to be honest, I really want to like tea now. And me. So this is English breakfast golden and well-rounded tea. So maybe that is why it's getting like a nice golden tinge to it. Mm. But it does look like it's, yeah, sold itself. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to have helped it a little bit. And there's a few random tea leaves in there, which from my inexperience of loose tea making, it 
just maybe gonna add some crunch and texture. It smells like tea. It does smell like tea. No, it tastes yeah, like plasticine. It probably tastes different if you put milk with it. No, but with this sort of tea, you're not supposed to put milk in it. It's supposed to be flavoured, isn't it? Oh, okay. Mrs. Barry having the tea. I genuinely thought you'd like tea for some reason. Why do we even have tea bags in our house? For when guests come round and yeah, they can just bring it home. Parents, the babysit. Bring a bottle, isn't it? Well, well that's what your mum does. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they started doing, bringing their own. <laughs> so I got the hen and bought some nice tea bags. Oh. Explain what it tastes like. Makes me feel sick. <laughs> Great. So if there's any tea brands out there that want to sponsor in it, hey. <laughs> Some of you guys are very eagle-eyed. In fact, sometimes you're like, you did something different to your left eyelash. And uh, about five or six weeks ago in some of my videos, you might have seen in one of my fingers had a bit of like an indent in it. That is because of this beastie thing that arrived. Uh, and when most food gadgets arrive, I get quite excited. I'm like, yay. And this came in NAF packaging. It was literally this wrapped uh, in an envelope. So I ripped it open and then one of these prongs stabbed my finger and it hurt. You weren't here then, but I cried like a baby. But this thing is designed to hold things in place so you can slice them easier. So let's do that and then not cut my finger. Okay, so somehow I've managed to get tea leaves on this chopping board as well. But this is uh, just a standard onion that I've removed the sheath on it. And we're just gonna push this in like so. I think that'll do. Yes, that is proper holding it in place. I can now like walk along and carry it like that. Go, okay, right, I'm just going to the airport with my onion. But then we just use a knife. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's quite hard though to get in between the gaps. And then just slice like this. And then does it come off? Oh no, they're not gonna come off. Maybe I've just gone in a little too uh, sharp on it, but let's just uh, do the main purpose, which is helping it to slice. Oh, there we go. So the sides are falling off. And then I'm gonna very carefully uh, pull this out. Oh, and there we go. Check that out. We got like, Slices of onion. This could be really good for an apple, I guess, or a tomato. So it's pretty good because you can like make onion rings just like that. But here is, I'm just, <laughs> I'm crying. <sighs> okay. In that goes, I'm not gonna go as deep this time. Tomato. I do actually quite like the fact that it's holding it together in the middle. That's quite good because then once you've got all the way through it, you can just grab and Take it wherever you like, really. Oh, that last one sort of gave way. But look, I can just sort of walk along again to my airport and really not try not to cry uh, with these tomato slices that you just pull off like so. So, apart from nearly piercing my hand, that is a really good gadget and I'm getting so emotional about it. So next up is this quick top, uh, easy to use painted can cap. It keeps drinks fresh and fizzy. All right, and on the back, there's loads of uh, different sort of things you can do with it. So I'm gonna get some drinks. So I've got myself a can of banter right there and I was just really intrigued to buy this Jack Daniels Tennessee honey lemonade thing. So uh, <coughs> these look nice. All right, that's it out of the box, but it says leak proof and airtight, safe to go anywhere. The cap can be used as a can opener. So let's do that first. Oh no, they're just basically saying that you use the lip like that and go. Okay, yeah, that kind of worked. Easier, safer, no spill drinking. Okay, so you have this thing, like this meshy thing that'll go on there so you can keep your drink and drink it through that rather than potentially cutting your mouth on there. So that makes sense. The cap doubles as a cup so we can pour our drink in there and go out of it. Apparently you can stand it. Oh yeah, oh wow, look at that. They can make it into a coaster. That's pretty darn decent, to be fair. Uh, and there's two different types of can size. Uh, a and B, apparently there's the, the rim on a can. You get two different versions there. So uh, I didn't know that actually happened or existed. So there we go. Oh, wow, I have made that really sharp. Uh, I'm definitely in need of this gadget now. That, <laughs> that's like hazardous. To drink, snap the spout onto the can. So, oh, wow, okay. That appears to be on there to reseal screw cap on the spout. So we just go, oh my gosh, look at that. Airtight can. Uh, okay, not so airtight. There we go. So this thing, not only is it a coaster, it's our cap as well. This is well and truly on there. It wasn't looking good at first. I've just adjusted it. And we can sit that on and screw it there like that. Oh my gosh. Look, if I got that. <gasps> that, that's amazing. So then when we want to drink, I don't know if you heard the fizz there, and I'm gonna do that again. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so you can see how 
<laughs> and how airtight that is because it's like, yeah. But then you can just go, <laughs> oh, there's a bit of gas in there. Does actually work. And I might get a little bit tipsy on this. Nice. To remove it, oh, you just, there we go. You just squeeze, they, that is really cool. And then you can stick it onto your lethal can of banter with the shard of metal that was in there that could have potentially cut my lips and then go, ah. This next one, loads of you have been sending me links to it. Actually, someone sent me this, but I don't know the name of the brand of it. Um, it's just basically quite a lethal thing. So do be careful. It has a safety latch on the back, this red thing. Uh, it's food scissors with a safety thing uh, that are also double up as a chopping board, okay? So basically you uh, un release the safety thing, so it opens up. Very, very sharp blade there, flat and all that stuff. And it's onto this like white board bit there, so we can rest vegetables such as a carrot or a courgette on it. We'll try the courgette first, because obviously a carrot's a bit tougher, and it should uh, slice it. Maybe good for hairdressers. Here we go then, uh, so rather than a knife and a chopping board, you just go right. I am gonna just slice up my core jet into chunks and not slice off my fingers. Now I did that very rush. Uh, there is kind of being cut at an angle, but that is very, very sharp and very cool indeed. Uh, let's try it with something a bit more butch, a little bit more stubborn, a bit more, ugh, a carrot. Uh, these are obviously a lot tougher. Oh, wow. Look at this. I'm just slicing and I nearly, yes, I got a bit dangerous. Amazing gadget, be very, very careful with it, but check that out, super sharp discs of veg. I teased this one on the last gadget video. This is an ice cream scoop, cuts through ice cream like butter. It's a heating ice cream scoop, which I'm really excited about. Transfers heat, uh, no electricity, amazing. No soupy ice cream. Does anyone ever leave ice cream that long so it goes soupy? Everyone eats it, right? Uh, the only thing is I can't actually see uh, the instructions on it, which is hopefully they're inside, and apparently the shaft is an energy reservoir. I do also have another gadget that I'll probably put on the next video that is actually a heated knife that you go through butter with. Hmm. Oh yeah, oh wow. You've gotta be honest, that is actually looking pretty That's darn cool. swish. But you don't need instructions, it's an ice cream scoop. What kind of instructions do you need to get ice cream out of a box? There's gonna be instructions, they always do. They have to, don't they? No, you don't get instructions when you buy a pack of knife and Oh uh, no, it says here, please read the instructions carefully before you start using this product. If you have any questions, visit us. Do not microwave, put in dishwasher. What? So maybe it is just self-heating, is it? It says, heat comes up, connects to the thermo ring, scooping is super easy. Oh, I'm gonna wash it a minute. It's clean now. It's clean? But yeah. you don't need instructions on how to scoop ice cream out of an ice cream tub. Yeah, but it's gotta get warm, hasn't it? Surely this ring doesn't just self-heat. How does that work? Through, through your hands. Really? So he's got to find a YouTube video on how to scoop ice cream. Why would you need? YouTube's my life. I know that. But... You are every advertiser's <laughs> dream. You know that. No way. Really? Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Why did you watch another one? It's going to be exactly the same. Oh, well, he's got the whole playlist going here, isn't it? Oh, what, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Biodegradable liquid transfers heat from the handle. Yes, what? I thought look. we put this in the microwave. And then the world's thermo heated ring scooping in the edge. So it's your hands, yeah? This is amazing. I don't even care if it works or not. We've got like NASA in our kitchen. We've made it, folks. NASA. The dream is over. We've, this is life complete. Mrs. Barry acquired some <laughs> Ken and Jerry's ice cream. What is this? Vanilla, oh. chocolate cookie swirl, chocolate cookie sandwiches. Oh, is that Oreos and cookie dough? Oh I know. my god. All gosh. my favourite things in one ice cream. Well, mm. let's get the lid off. Come on. Yes. Oh. Is it working? This is scooping, to be fair. Scooping, but I'm not quite sure what's going on. No, you're different. getting some there. We haven't got a plate for this. <laughs> you're just going to have to have a little go. No, to be fair, when you have ice cream that's rock oh, hard. Yeah. And isn't it meant to just fall off? Yeah. Yes. Let's get our other ice cream scoop. Oh, I know. Oh, brophy. You're oh, worse oh. than the children. Let's get our normal one out and compare. All right. Right, ready? Oh, oh this is a lot that harder. is tougher. See, look at that. That does actually work. Oh, it's the ice cream. Ugh. Oh, it does. Oh. <laughs> 
That is amazing. So apparently uh, this uh, sort of ring uh, on the scoopy bit warms up through uh, the energy liquidy yeah. stuff in the handle. In the shafty thing. Still really impressed with that. I'm probably going to keep that for whenever I go like camping. That'd be cool. Probably get some more of those. Now, if you like cats or alternatively uh, frogs, this gadget could be for you because you can make yourself a fried egg uh, in the style of a cat. Uh, and we can use this gadget to help us get the egg separated. So, a dish here. Crack in some eggs. Getting rid of any shell, of course. Alrighty. Uh, in this box is something called the Sunny Side Out, okay? So this is basically, oh, oh wow, it's very big and it's got a big plastic end on it. It's very similar uh, to the goldfish egg separator we had before. We can just apparently just push in like that, hover over our yolk and let it suck it up like that. Check that out. So we put our cat in the pan, which is a phrase I hope none of you ever have to say. Oh, yeah. Get my other egg yolk, uh, like so. Push it in there. Oh, yes. Let me just pour the egg white in. Let it find its way a little bit. Yes, okay. It's not actually resting fully down, but that's okay. That will just sort of cook around it. Just trying to help fill it up a little bit. And then we cook it up. Um, we'll just see if this works. So far, it's okay, because we knew there was gonna be some spillages around the side. We can trim those off. It does appear to be holding it all in there together. At this stage, remember, you can sort of season your cat as well, which again, sounds really bad, and the cruelty to animal people will be onto you. Do not do that. All right, I've taken that off the heat now. I'm gonna let it cool down naturally just to finish cooking through the last little bit. Trim off that, and we'll serve it up. Here we go then, folks. Uh, there is our cat. It's had a bit of a rough night, I think, by the looks of it. Um, I think we're just gonna let it cool down just a teeny weeny bit and then lift it out. I think, meanwhile, Mrs. Barry wants to do a frog one, just because I think she felt bad for you frog lovers out there. Uh, it's a good job, Mrs. Barry. Oh, it's actually not too bad. <laughs> it looks more like Pokemon or something. It's a good job Mrs. Barry's doing a frog though, because uh, It I... looks like the cat from um, The Simpsons. With this one we used a bit of spray oil to lubricate the frog's face, and as you can see it's gone quite bubbly and it's started to come away from the edges as well. Here we go! Look at that! That is pretty darn cool, and it is coming away much easier than the other one. The only problem is you do get it more bubbly, then that's quite smooth, so... Up to you, let's, let's get it off though. <laughs> ha, 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 oh. hot! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that one too. I just wish I liked fried eggs. Don't you like fried eggs? No, I do. Just people think I hate every food. So Mrs. Barry got me this uh, cocoa ketchup for my birthday. So I just laced it on there. So I'm just going to eat some pussy cat. And you're having some frog, yeah? Yes. Mm. Mine's freezing. Mine's warm. <laughs> Perfect. That ketchup's nice, though. Mm. 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 This is a good fried egg. So while Kermit mm. eats her frog egg right now, <laughs> well, I'll be, I'll be Kermit, it'd be Miss Piggy, wouldn't you? Or maybe it's the other way around. Uh, I hope you really enjoy this latest gadget review video, folks. Now check out the playlist for tons more. Uh, don't forget, if you've seen any cool gadgets, send me links. Subscribe for regular fun food videos and recipes, and we'll see you again next time. Ciao for Bye. now.